Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Let's begin by creating a temporary table called company info. Notice we have company name, state name, phone, and is company active. Go ahead and create that table. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert some data in there. And this is just a simple insert statement. We're gonna put in five rows. Now let's see what the goal is. As you can see here, the goal is to create some XML that looks like this. And you can see the column names, company name, state name, phone, and is company active. And then what we have to do is we have to wrap each of these records within a company. And then all of these companies are a child of companies. So you see that this is valid XML. So here's our function, proc list of fetch company info. And notice we're gonna just query for is active. Remember this one column here is column active, so I only want the true values. Now I'm gonna return, so don't forget the S, returns XML, and we're gonna declare XML result as XML. Notice here on line 77, that's where I return that. Now notice here I say select XML, element and then I'm going to put companies and you can see that kind of right here at the very top. Then I'm going to aggregate add an XML element named company then use XML forest. Company name, state, phone, and is company active. And that right there builds on my children. Now all of this goes into XML result and then we're just doing it from company info in a where clause. Notice we had one Argument is active, a Boolean, and that's where we're doing that on line 75. Now the output of this goes into XML result, return XML result, and we're actually done with our function. Let's go ahead and execute that. The, the output, notice that that was successful. Now we have a simple little program here, and it's actually going to call proc list of fetch company info. Notice active, active is true and the output will go to XML output. Then I'm gonna raise a notice and I'm gonna show you that XML. You ready to do this? Execute, and this is our output. Notice I dropped the XML into Notepad Editor. I have the XML plugin and notice we have good looking XML. And there you have it team, using SQL to generate an XML document. If you have any questions or comments like, hey man, I enjoyed this video, or hey, can you make more videos about XML? Please leave them below. Much appreciated. That's all I have, team. Take care.